Hello my lazy gamers, today I am making another video, obviously, and today I will be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Hope you all enjoy it. I'm just getting it up now. I would have had it up earlier, but um, thought I'd wait. <laughs> down a bit because it's a bit loud. New game. Well, my name is Jade, but I believe the male, it's a male in this. So I'll go with Edward. I am a girl, by the way, obviously, but in this game, I'm pretty sure I'm a male. Hey, I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance. Waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works because works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together one day, like on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and I deal. I it an idle in front of the crosswalk walk and let her already catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again, but I call you just in time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say it like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Edward. Well, if people stare at you acting weird, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to. In I guess you don't have it in you to be mean to me if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> Cross the street together and make our way to the school. As we draw near the streets become the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Edward, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't, I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I just seemingly go along with whatever she goes on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried about you that worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any s skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a meat in a few years. You're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright, I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I could promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured, lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little. Even if she does... Sorry, I 
exaggerate everything inside of her head. This is actually a good game so far. The school is as orderly as ever. And it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall. Oh, sorry. Clubs. Sarah wa wants me to check s out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sorry must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I looked around and realized I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of your cl of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up, wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Uh, Sayori is a vice president, vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Can't say it properly. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start a new club. Since she has the first one to show up, show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sarah is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Let's go! It's -a me, I'm Edward! <laughs> and thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectively follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a selection of the school I rarely visit, but generally used for third year classes and activities. Sorry, full of energy, swing, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It is my, it is a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you bought a boy? Ha, I was right. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Edward, what a nice surprise. I feel like I should give them voices, that's why I'm doing this. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I will admit, anime girls are pretty cute, even if, you know, they look full of attitude. But they're so cute. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So, sorry. That's a key. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nasuki, is one I don't recognize. A small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets in the knee. Sayori, Sayori says that quickly into, uh, quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Nasuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Nasuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you. Kind English. Nice to meet you both. And it 
it sounds like you've already met Monica. Is that true? Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Edward. Monica smiles sweetly. We... We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Monica has probably was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having a, her smile at me general, so generally feels a little bit... You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Edward. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As I mentioned, it's been wooden, so there is one place, uh, one space next to Monica, and one place next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly ma marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and tape on it. Sorry, say where it grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sorry talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. That's me most of the time when I eat a cupcake. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Why? I don't even look at the perfect angle to bite a cupcake. I'm just like, ah, eh, cupcake. Eat it. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally leave it down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thinking me? It's not like I haven't heard this somewhere before. Made them feel anything. I thought you technically did. Sayori did, said, well, maybe, but not for y you, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Ooh. Help me. You keep a whole tea set. Uh, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but it, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid to answer of this question. Someone tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any club yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? 
Vice President of the Literature Club, Literature, bleh, 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 Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Were you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand or... Don't mind that horrible singing. I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages other people to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling the dream. Monica really is a great leader. Very also not in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out of the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that we're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such delightful girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why we're all so delighted they're all so delighted about a new member joining. Although I still don't really know if I can keep up with the level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Edward, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, consider how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good answer way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Nasuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps it quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, well, anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri trances the rims of her teacup with a finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign... In such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems to reverse and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her by the way her eyes light up at, that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep physic physic physiology I can't say that word. Elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can do deliberate can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imitation imi imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read horror I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp for something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I would have never expected that, Yuri. For some reason, for someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. 
Surely horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, it's just... Nisuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. And give it back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just so cute as you are. So he slides up behind Nasuki and puts her arms over her shoulders. I'm not cute! Nasuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Nasuki verts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, a very confident writer yet. I understand how Nasuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The trust form of writing is writing on oneself. You must be willing to open up your to, up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities. I can't say that. Is showing even the deeper reaches of our heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Nasuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. <laughs> Nasuki and Yuri look quizzically. Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Edward? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Oh, huh? what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come out, come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sorry, sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. Four girls stare at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry, I thought <laughs> Edward You all uh I defense against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That's it. If writing poems is the price I need to pay to in order to spend time every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lifted up. Yes! I'm so happy! Suri so wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey. You, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be surprised, uh, super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks. I guess. Okay, everyone. I think... I think with that we can officially... end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Edward, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class? 
the class star Monica with my medical writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Nasuki clean up their food. Hey Edward, since you're already here, do you want to come together? That's right, Sorry and I never walked home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Whee! This is a good game. It honestly looks adorable. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favourite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. I'm kind of after Natsuki. Let's go with Bunny. Oh, she jumped. Is that a good thing? I don't know if it's a good thing. Hmm. Uh, color. Oh, that's Sayori. Vivid, family, peaceful. Let's go waterfall. Ah, that's Natsuki. Uh, so that. Ah, that's Sayori. Oh, Doki Doki. Okay, what's that for? Ah, that is you, Natsuki. Let's go with Daydream. Ah, Sayori. Um, hmm. Extreme. Ooh, that's Yuri. Okay. Summer. That's Natsuki. I have to be 20. Oh god. Let's go Lollipop. Ah, that's Natsuki too. Oh, anime. Feeling she likes anime. She liked it. I have a feeling. <gasps> Let's go with puppies. Oh, Natsuki likes that. Let's go with passion. Oh, that's Sayori. Uh, no, no, okay. It's brain cloud. That's also Sayori. Let's go with giggle. No, little Natsuki. Uh, let's go with hair. That's Natsuki. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, can I go away? Thank you. Peace, that's Natsuki. Flower, that's Sayori. Love, that's Sayori. Mm, silly, that's Sayori. Cute, and that would be Natsuki because she's adorable. Well, we're back to the next day. Hi again, Edward. Glad to see you didn't run away from us on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Edward. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom. Mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between, say, Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! 
get swiftly defeated, not to keep plop back into a seat. Don't worry, guys. Edward always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Say right, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Edward become friends too. Uh, um, since Harry. Hmm? As usual, Harry seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri! Even brought something today, you know? But wait, what? Wait, wait, Sayori? Uh, me? No, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? No, never mind. Sorry, made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. They'll make me happy no matter what. Wait, is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. Alright, well, here. Yuri reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep you keep your attention. Even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is. How is this girl adjectively accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite not me not reading much? Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry and Monica are having a cheerful conversation in the corner. Mary's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense exp expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. <sighs> he and Natsuki utter an excipated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs, hand needs a hand. You look for something in there? Frickin' Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is gonna mess it up? That's like he slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga too? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other people stand. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a long volume of manga amidst on the stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull out a stick. There it is. Snatches it out of